Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Eclipse IDE for uh, developing Java programs on your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system. So uh, first thing you need to do is you need to have Java JDK installed in your system in order to compile your program. So I will uh, put the link in the descri description so that you uh, know that Java JDK is installed in your system and then only you will be able to install Eclipse and that makes sense. Otherwise if you install uh, Eclipse without Java JDK it will not make much of a sense. And so just uh, see the link below if you don't have Java JDK and just the simple test to check whether Java is present in your system is just to oh, just open your command prompt and just write here java c just this is the command to compile your java files and if you see some output here then you know that java is installed uh, in your system otherwise you need to install java jdk and just go in the description and click the link and see the video where i have shown you how to install java jdk Okay, so now we want to install Eclipse IDE for developing Java in our Windows 8 operating system. So just open your web browser and in here just search for Eclipse IDE download and press enter and the first link you will find here is from www.eclipse dot org slash downloads so I will click this first link here and in here you will be able to find some of the versions to uh, develop or to uh, to download okay so for um, developing uh, Java standard programs uh, we are not going to use Java EE but we want to use Java developers Eclipse for Java developers so you, you need to download this uh, in your operating system which is Java IDE for Java developers and you need to know what uh, bit your system has is it a 64-bit system or a 32-bit system so if you don't know what uh, bit uh, or what flavor of system you have you need to go to your st start screen in Windows 8 and search for systems so system and click it and you will be able to see system type so I have 64 bit operating system right now okay but if you have 32 bit you need to download 32 bit uh, zip file for Eclipse so I have 64 bit so I will uh, just click this Windows 64 bit okay and in here you will see some of the mirrors uh, for downloading Java the nearest mirror from my location is uh, this one but this will depend upon your location which mirror is uh, nearer to you so I will click this uh, link here which is just below download Eclipse Java okay so I will click this link and now download will start it will take around one minute to download it's uh, not a very big file but 155 MB file so I will let uh, this file to download and once it's downloaded I will show you how you can open this Eclipse and how to run it okay so I will pause the video while it's downloading and once it's downloaded I will let you know so the, the download for uh, Eclipse uh, zip file is complete it's a zip file which I've downloaded so I can go to my downloads folder and I can see here Eclipse standard Luna in here okay so I want to extract uh, this uh, zip file first so I will then so I will right click and extract all so I will right click and click this button extract all and where I want to extract this it's in here itself so I will just click extract and it will extract uh, this file in some time 
so I will let this file uh, to extract and once it's extracted then I will show you what to do next okay so the download or extraction of this zip file is complete so I extracted this file uh, here itself and this is the extracted file uh, folder and here is the folder it contains so it contains this uh, zip uh, or uh, this um, eclipse folder here right so what you need to do is take this uh, eclipse folder and move it to the local disk which is C and with move it to this uh, program files uh, folder so just you can drag and drop in here or just right click cut this from here go to program files and right click paste it here okay and press continue so now your eclipse folder is in your local disk slash program files okay and once you go inside this eclipse you will be able to see this uh, icon here for eclipse and this is the icon you uh, want to use to uh, open eclipse ide just right click and see if you can pin it to the menu you can do it to the menu uh, i have classic shell installed so I can uh, uh, pin it to the start menu or I can even pin it, pin it to the taskbar. I will uh, pin it to my start menu uh, which I have in uh, classic shell. So I will right click and do that and once I do that I will be able to see here this eclipse icon here. Okay. So once you have this you just need to double click it. and for the first time when you uh, open this Eclipse IDE it will ask for the workspace uh, which you want to uh, use uh, this message will come in a moment so let's wait for that message and I will say run anyway So you see Eclipse IDE is starting now. And uh, I was talking about this workspace launcher. So this will be your default workspace. Uh, in which you uh, are going to create your project so if you want this uh, location and if you uh, uh, want that all of your project will go in this directory which is workspace which is provided by Eclipse uh, uh, itself then you can just click OK or otherwise you can choose uh, the folder of your choice and give it as a workspace okay I will leave it as default and I will check this button uh, checkbox which says use this uh, as a default okay so this will be my default workspace where all my project will go so just remember this and click OK and then it will prepare the workspace for me and it will load the IDE So now Eclipse has started, I will minimize all other folders or I will close them completely and for the first time when you open Eclipse ID it will look like this. It has uh, samples, it has tutorials, you can uh, just click overview of or you can take an overview of this Eclipse and if you want to make your first project you need to go this to this file tab here go to new and click this Java project because we want to make a Java project with Eclipse 
and you need to give the name for your project for example hello world and all other things I will leave them as default so this is the Java runtime environment which um, my machine has it will uh, it recognizes Eclipse all automatically recognizes this and the project layout I will leave it as default and I will click finish but this is not all uh, because uh, when we create a project it will not create any code for you okay so what you need to do here is go here or cancel this uh, welcome screen from here close this and now you will be able to see your project hello world which we have created right now but if you see here it just have the source folder which is empty so there is nothing inside this folder so now when you want to run this it will not run because you don't have any source code right so what you can do here is you can right click on this source folder right click and go to new and you can say new class and in here you can create your new class so I will leave all of this as default but in the name section here this one I will name my class as hello world and it's a good practice to use camel case camel case means uh, the first letter of your word starts from capital uh, letter and then uh, other letters are small and then it will be same with uh, the second word first word first letter will be capital and uh, others will be small okay and only I just need to give the name of my class uh, the source or the folder for this will be the source folder it's automatically here but f uh, one important thing if you want to make a sample program you just need to check this which is public static main string args and what this will do is it will create a main function for you a main method for you uh, and every uh, program needs one main uh, function or method every Java program uh, needs it okay so for the first time I will check it uh, when I make uh, other projects in Java I generally don't do this I make my main program manually but for the first time you can check this option and it'll create main method for you automatically so just click this or check this option which is public static void main and click finish and now you will be able to see this hello world file here and you will be able to see uh, that Eclipse has created some uh, code for you which is a public class hello world we have created and the main method so every Java program needs one at least one main program and only one main program okay so Eclipse has created this sample program for us what I can do is I can just write system dot out dot print line so print ln and then I can print something in this uh, bracket so uh, what I will do is I will give these double quotes and I will write hello world okay so suppose I want to print hello world for the first time uh, I can do this like this and then I need to run this okay so I will just click run and for the first time when you compile your program it will ask uh, for this one just select this uh, hello world.java file which we have created and click OK and now you will be able to see hello world here okay so this is uh, the console where your all output will be printed if you want to print any output so just see here and you are successfully 
uh, you are you have successfully created your first hello world program with your eclipse ide using java so i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now